welcome to YouTube Excel magic trick number five. Hey, if you want to download this workbook with all the little 10 tricks, you can go to my channel and click on my college website and download this. Hey, in this little Excel YouTube magic trick, we're going to see how to name a range, do data validation, and a VLOOKUP. Now, how do you name a range? Uh, let's go ahead and highlight from H10 all the way to H15. Highlight. This is the name box. Click in the name box. It highlights whatever the top cell is. And type VLOOKUP. Oh, no, 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 no. Backspace, backspace, backspace. This is going to be product. Product. Notice that the cursor is still flashing. You don't officially name it until you hit Enter. Now watch this. I'm going to click somewhere else. I'm going to go up to the name box. And in my drop down, I'm going to click on product. Boop. It highlights that immediately. Let's try that again. Let's highlight the whole table, not the labels, just the table products and prices. Now I'm going to come up, try it all again. Now I'm going to call this the lookup table. And then I hit Enter. Don't forget Enter. Now let's see if this works. I'm going to click product. Boop. It highlights that. And then I'm going to click the drop down arrow of the lookup table. It highlights that. Now watch this. Now we're going to do data validation. I want a drop down in this cell that anytime I click on the drop down, I can pick any one of these products. All right, the keyboard shortcut that works both in 2007 and 2003 for data validation is Alt DL. Alt DL. We want to allow a list. No way. That means the only thing allowed in this cell will be from some list. Oh, and where's the source? Hey, it's right there. But watch this. I'm going to teach you the keyboard shortcut to show you the name list. We have two names, F3, boop, F3, and then double click product. Look at that. It puts the formula in. Now from now on in this cell, you're only allowed whatever is from this named range. Boop, click OK. No way. There's a drop down. I'm going to click here, product 3, product 4. Now the second part, it's fine that we have data validation, but we want to automatically look up the price. Well, we have to use the VLOOKUP. Now before we use the VLOOKUP, let's just do it in our heads. We can do it in our heads, and this VLOOKUP function is actually set up just like our heads. Watch this. We look there. We say, oh, that's product 5. We go racing over to this table. We go down the first column, first column. I find the product 5. I jump over to the second column. I say 15.2. I come back to the cell, and I type 15.02. Well, that's annoying to do all that. So I'm going to delete that. And there's a VLOOKUP function that'll do all that. Type equals VLOOKUP. Remember, in Excel 2007, there is a drop-down list that if you see what you want and you hit Tab, you can just hit Tab. Otherwise, if you're in 2003 or earlier, you have to type all that in. Now, look at this. The screen tip says look up value. Well, it's this, just like our heads. We need to look at that. Comma, where is the um, table array? Oh, we already named it. So I'm going to hit F3 and click VLOOKUP table. No way. Table array. Notice this screen tip is really polite. It's bold, but it's, and it reminds you that you have to put a comma in. So if I type a column, it says, now what column do you want me to return a value from? Well, our prices are in column 2. This is column 1. This is column 2. So I'm going to type a 2. Then a comma. And you just got to put a 0 here, because we want an exact match. False, you can type out the word false, but 0 means false. In 2007, this drop down is really a big improvement over earlier ones. This didn't used to happen, and you just had to know what to type in there. I'm going to hit close parentheses, Control Enter. No way, it worked. Now I'm going to click here. I'm going to click the drop down and go Product 2. No way. Then I'm going to go product 6. No way, 1342. Wow, that is just like magic. All right, see you next uh, YouTube Excel magic trick.